Okay. So as we go through the stages of development, we're learning certain things that can be kind of categorized into these at different stages of development. So what is a schema? Um, I have it in my notes just as like theories and models of like why the world works the way it does. So one of a child's favorite words is why. And that can be super annoying for adults, but it's because this is what they're trying to develop. They're trying to understand why everything works the way it does. Why does it hurt when they fall down? Why do you scream when you get mad? They're trying to understand better. That's what's happening with schemas. All right, what about assimilation? They, uh, it's when infants apply their schemas in like a novel situation. So this is where we say, mommy screams when she gets mad, so I'm gonna scream when I get mad. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, what about accommodation? Um, that's when they revise their schema and they get new information or because of new information. Okay. So here, I screamed like mommy does when she's mad. She realized maybe she needs to stop doing that in front of me and has a talk with me about how we don't scream when we get mad. We try to do this, this, and this first. So that's going to go into my knowledge bank about that. So next time I might say, well, screaming is what we do and we're not being good about it. So I should talk or I should just walk away or, you know, things like that. Okay, what is object permanence? The idea that objects like exist even when they, they can't be seen. Like knowing something is under the table, but you can't see it under the table. That's not how I think of it. Mm -hmm. That's good. So when babies are little, we can play a game. We can actually do this with dogs too. Where we put the ball behind our back or we pretend to throw it. And all of a sudden, you know, they're like, where to go? And it's because they think that when they can't see it anymore, it's gone. Poof. Which is why kids get upset when mom or dad walks out the door. Because if they can't see mom or dad, then mom or dad is gone. Mm -hmm. um, so when they learn object permanence, they know that, like you said, it, even if it's under the table and they can't see it, they know it exists. They know where there it is. They just can't see it. I think Eli's getting there. Yes. I think he's trying to at least. Okay, any questions on the basics of here?